I was never a Boy Scout, but I have stayed at a Holiday Inn, and my father told me when I was a kid, measure twice, cut once. What does that have to do with making a DVD, you ask? The answer is, you need to know exactly what you're going to do on the DVD before you even start. In other words, sit down, conceptualize, draw it out on paper if you need to, make an outline, however you need to organize it. Use Visio, use Word, use Paint, whatever you need to do to get it into a format that allows you to create the DVD. This could be an outline, a Visio flow diagram, or just scribbles on paper, as long as you know how the disk is going to be organized, what features you want, what navigation scheme you're going to use, that type of thing. So conceptualize it and then visualize it. I've organized my chapters in Vegas. I have seven chapters. I'm not going to be using subtitles this time around, but that would be the next category, chapters and subtitles. Next, think about your video. Alternative takes or angles, you can use them in DVD. If you have a three camera setup and you want to put all three cameras on the DVD, assuming you have appropriate space, you can do it and allow the viewer to switch between cameras. Something to consider up front. Also, are you going to have multiple audio takes, multiple audio tracks? You can have different language tracks and switch between them at runtime. How about surround? Are you going to be using surround? If you're going to be using surround, the whole disc has to be surround, not just in one cut. Make sure you've prepared your audio appropriately. Are there going to be any graphics or animation on the disc? How about a splash screen or an animation sequence or a short video that pops up when the disc is loaded? You need to think about these things up front. You can have additional data on a DVD disc. This data could be any type of data that can be written to a DVD, and it can be contained in an extras folder on the DVD. You can add this when you make the DVD in DVD Architect. It will not play in a DVD player, nor will you be able to view the files in the DVD player only for viewing on the computer. I'm going to render this as main concept MPEG-2 for the DVD, and I'm going to choose the DVD NTSC video stream. I'm going to save the project as path reference, because if I want to edit the project within DVD Architect, all I have to do is double click and I'm back in Vegas. I'm also going to save the project markers in the media file so we'll have the chapter stops. Now I'm going to render the audio as Dolby Digital AC3. This one is stereo. Stereo DVD. If you had multiple language tracks, you would render them individually as AC3 files and then add them to the project in DVD Architect. Here we have our MPEG-2 file and our AC3 file and the corresponding SFL files which contain the chapter information. We're ready to go to DVD Architect. What do we need to do in DVD-A? Select the file, drag it to the workspace, right-click, insert Scene Selection Menu, there are seven chapters, and we're ready to go. More coming up.